Today's practice determines how we play tomorrow. Okay? Like, our result for tomorrow's matches is purely dictated on how we practice today. Wednesday was the last day that we had to practice before we played our first stage game versus uh, NCSU. And this was really when, you know, shit gets real. We started to really lock in and we got there at 9.30 a.m. and we hit up our boys, Western Ontario, uh, across the hall and we uh, scrimmed until 10 p.m. that night, so a good 12 hours of scrims. All we did was eat at the scrim. Uh, it's a good time to start to really focus on our gameplay and get ready for finals. That game, we just did not play a very good defense. Like when we're when we're playing against a comp that like wants to hard engage like that, we had too many instances where we're getting caught out in side lane or we're not pushing enough in side lane. So like side lane was 100% our issue this game. Huh. Huh. Welcome to Forever, man. Forever, man. Let's go. Let's go. And of course, Maryville returns to the college championship with one thing in mind that has reclaimed the title of college champion after being knocked out last year. Christian Stylewart looking like that here. Beautiful boomerang play though. Into the turret. Last auto is good for Saskio. Oh, he's here again. There's an Octane ulti. This is going to be Carnage. Back with a double kill on the execute ulti. Make it three. Is ripped up with a flash. Only delays the inevitable. Maryville will take down the Nexus and take game one from North Carolina. And you guys snowballed really well. Our Herald take was great. Everything was great. Okay, so just keep doing what you guys are doing. But just make sure to, like, once we get that gold lead, really double down on, like, setting our conditions and making sure that we know um, exactly what we're doing and just do what we say and say what we do. That's all right? Up. Yeah, we have all the answers. Make them beat us. Curious to see if it holds up in 10 minutes' time, but I think I agree with you. Oh, what a hook there from Clyde! Predicts the pike dash, Hanny now low. Sasko gonna try and get the last autos in and thresh. Very deservedly collects first blood. He's oh. hiding in a brush and looking for a pick. Wait, whoa! Kind of outplayed himself. Oh, the Buster Shot as well might save Chatter Visions, but Wolfie gonna grab the kill. Saskio actually, with the burn down, does grab it. And now Hani too far forward. Tristan just got two kills out of nowhere, and Nile finds the onslaught of Shadow's gonna lock up Wolf, and that will be kill number three over to Maryville. Wow. Niles again running interference. On onslaught of Shadow's almost back up. Clyde's here as well, still racing around, but Wolfie still with the stolen lair to this fight. Buys the time. They CC ripped off, they get the shutdown, and that'll be Nexus and Ceres over to Maryville as Sasuke and CKG walk the minion waves in to put them to another semi final. Nice. Oh. Niles, congratulations on that win. And I want to ask you about the ending because base race to end the series. What was that like for you? Uh, we wanted to make the series exciting. You know, usually one seed versus eight seed isn't that exciting, but we were like, guys, let's base race at the end, you know, give them a show. And uh, yeah, so I, I hope it was exciting for everyone to watch. You have to go through semifinals against Illinois, who won earlier today. So, what do you think about going against them as your next opponents? Um, Illinois' top laner is trash. So, I'll probably trash him like. I trashed uh, NC State's top laner, so that's that's probably how we win the series. So Andrew, how that series feel? Um, honestly, pretty terrible. <laughs> we did not play, you know, how we know we can. So it was pretty rough. I mean, obviously we won 2-0, but it didn't feel, you know, it didn't feel good. It's not a victory you kind of want to have. So. The sloppiness against our first game against NCSU is mainly from our stage fight. It was our first game on stage and some of the players were new to playing on stage so that's why it wasn't the cleanest of games. Uh, it was a combination of things. I would say uh, a little bit of un uh, being uncomfortable and also uh, overconfidence like made the series uh, closer than it should have been. What are you doing, bud? What the f are you doing, bud? Co Hawaii shirt. Hold up. Are those dress socks? What are those? Yeah, I only got a few clean ones left. 
Oh, by the way. Do you have anything the, uh, dressy to wear with the dress socks? Friday was an interesting day because we definitely wanted to get in more practice, but we didn't really find much practice. So uh, when you sit in between, uh, it was kind of an off day for us. So in between our games, we definitely watched the other games, kind of looked at them, uh, looked back on ours and uh, the opponent that we were going to play coming up. So it was a definitely a day to kind of hang out, a little bit of practice, uh, a lot of watching league, and a lot of just thinking about the upcoming day. Uh, going to the match versus Illinois, I had zero nerves because I knew that their top laner uh, plays incredibly scared on stage. He, if you walk at him, he will immediately run away without even thinking, do I win this, does he win this, all that stuff like that. So I was not nervous at all. The fact that they beat them last year, I didn't even play in that series, so it didn't, it didn't weigh on my mind at all. You know, they're just some, some, some other team that we have, to, that we have to beat to win the championship, so. But in what was the most one-sided series, or certainly one of them that we've seen in this quarterfinals, Maryville proved why they're the number one seed coming into this tournament. That's right. Let's go, boys! Set your knees! Set your three! One, two, three! Set! Side. Yeah, not great. You want the one of the other two for sure. Nice hook here for Clyde. Timmy Tarwin looking to be the first blood. The play is good. The ignite is down and first blood over to Maryville University. Well, they know that they're not going to solo the dragon without the Baron, Baron without the Tristana, but now they're definitely going for Ooh, Baron while they're going on now. Nice bottom. splash. This might be a 1v2 project one though with the ulti ready. Romo going to be popping. They will go in onto the Baron. Niles gets the K with him. It does get Topopotamus. Can he complete the 1v1 here under Kane? Dancing around the W still gets knocked up. The shield procs again. Niles, look for the arrow! Absolutely massive outplay! Oh man, Project One can't even safely take his own Raptors. Gonna get wrapped up by the Rune Prison. Zeno over the top, gonna try and make it happen. They'll fight back Project One with a lot of extra health after Rast Proxy does get the stopwatch down, but Niles, face taking, flashes into the backline, grabs himself a double kill. We'll make it through again for Maryville's top autonomous has to run for the hills. They're too far ahead, 10,000 gold. The AD carry down, jungler as well, and with a Tristan, I think they're going for the throat here. They're trying to throw it. By Maryville, and that's gonna be turret number one. I think the respawns are too late on this one. Maryville with a statement to kick off their best of five. They'll take game one versus Illinois. What? It's just do the same thing. Just yeah, keep I doing it. They just they they, they, they didn't have stuff. control. They didn't have control at a single point in that yep. game. Yeah, they, they got nothing up top when they were just sitting top, and then I got my items, and then the you feel Did that's you? gonna give them the top out of turret. You I can't see anything, and when they open their eyes, like the bad news is the turret already dead. Realm warp in for Timmy Tommy, trying to find the depth charge, but there's Clyde with the stopwatch gonna. Just wipe the fight here, that's Bosch down. It's kills, that's four clean kills, that's straight to the base. And with the Baron, they will end the game and put themselves at match point in the series. Damage, it's really only Vladimir. He's gone with a build that doesn't do a lot of DPS. There's QSSs though, what's he doing? Again, he's gonna try and find the pick he needs it for the curse of the sad mummy. Back up, CKG, finds a three man. It's gonna be an absolute whitewash here in the team fight. Silas will get another kill, go unstoppable, as Maryville will find themselves once again at the precipice of winning another college championship. No. So after uh, facing Illinois and we beat them, I felt very happy that I was able to take back what was uh, rightfully mine from last year and move on to the championship. I definitely remember uh, thinking about it when we won and I knew we were going to finals. That it was, I was like, no, this is my last year and I remember doing it two years ago. It didn't really hit me when we won the match, honestly, that we made the finals. A lot of this tournament has just been pretty slow since the level of teams we've played haven't been that high. And it's just been like strolling apart, really. So how I felt about the matchup against University of Western Ontario was they were a very good team. We scrimmed them a lot uh, during the weeks up until the finals. We played around 20 games and we won most of them. So going into the finals, I felt very confident facing off against them. It is indeed Championship Sunday here in the LCS Arena and there can only be one 2019 college champion. Will Canada bring the trophy back over the border crumbs or is it Maryville's second time for the title? Let the best team decide. Or instead, they just want to get this Carol, try to get some gold. Ooh, they land the, the bubble. Right. That's going to force a flash, but his Nile's actually going to TP in. Looks for the sun, finds it on the slasher, and he's going to clean house on that kill. Rift held over to Weston. But what else can they get done here? Clyde finds the hook. Julius flashes into it. And now Clyde going to lock it up. Gorica can't do anything, so he just has to watch his teammate die. A good pull to dodge the next bubble, but Rift Herald traded for two kills. 
Miles again dancing around. Julius looking for it, but the Vanguard's edge is going to pop on. That's going to force out the Lancer's spine. And here comes Clyde to finish it all off. So Zep charge for Vlad. There's the first kill. It's actually Clyde that gets Julius. And now the rest of the squad rotating down to help out their top laner. Already a 4v5 now for Weston. Hook's going to land in. Miles low, but Sasuke able to get down. Slasher CKG diving in with the World Ender on. Resurrects over the Torres. Whoopi with a massive poke. Takes down Short Hop in one fell swoop. And that's going to be game one. Maryville clean up the base. Such a clean game one out of Maryville University. They knew exactly what they needed to do, what their win condition was going to be, and how they had to execute. I didn't think they panicked for a single second here. This was so clean. If they keep double banning you, Clyde, then we just want to early prioritize engage on support. Because Watching them play with no engage tools hilarious. was hilarious. Take off me, take off three, one, two, three, go! Hey. So they're gonna try to go on to Clyde, but look at CKG, he's coming here as well. Clyde, no flash, remember Saskia has it as well, but as you mentioned, a truck's rolling in. Gonna, gonna try and turn Julius. it back around, Clyde gets the first route, after truck proxy is the TP. That's gonna be Niles roaming in to try and get a few kills. CKG finds the first knockup. Niles are looking for the stun. He stuns Goroku as he comes in. Not gonna find it out, but he misses the Vanguard. That's Saskio though. Having to take down Blaze Nova. That's Goroku gonna be dismounted. And now knocked up by the Aatrox. That'll be a kill to Clairdon. Not enough to save him as Niles grabs one. Listen, top of the middle. They didn't lose it in the Baron. They may still lose it as Saskio and Clyde look to push him, but Weston responding. Saskio needs a few more autos, but he's not gonna get them. There's the flash play. Short up right over the top here. As Wolfie again keeping the back down, Chuck Lance Hook is good as well! And now Short Up gonna get tied up in the fight breaking out. He does get the shot down, but Kaiser will die. And it's Wolfie now gonna grab himself a double kill. Gorica dead, the next one to fall as Niles is able to claim that one. And Weston thought they'd found something, but instead they'll get almost aced in their base. And Maryville gonna take a second next to push themselves to match points. They are just crushing this game. It looks like the competition has not showed up. Maryville is here to make a statement. They want to win Collegiate once again and are now just a game away. We're not we're not we haven't won yet. We haven't won yet. We have one game and it's one yet. Well, one more, man. One more. One more win. All right, well, game three and possibly the last game of the series. Maryville, that's what they want to hear. Taking it 3-0 here over Weston. Weston, absolutely no business losing for the rest of this series if they want to reclaim the title. But try and poke them off the objective. But so they're committing for it. Clyde in the mix. Maybe too far forward. The fight will start. Again, Wolfie going to get the first kill, actually. They're going to grab a second. Maryville turned the heat on instantly, and that's a great hold there from CKG. Not up yet, CKG biding his time, gets spotted now. Clyde there with the Lancer, but CKG, I think he got knocked around, he still makes his way over the wall, but the, the flank is nice, still Julius goes down there as Niles, just completing the flank as Wolfie dominating, gets the kill into place, Nova. CKG continuing to face that Clyde, short hop, that's a critical kill, that's a flash hook in for Clyde, they're going to take down the carrier Weston, no short hop, literal no hop. This is Maryville making a statement with a 3-0 over Canada. They came in as the number one seed, but they wanted to reclaim the title, and today they will, your 2019 college champions. When I won the match, I was just um, elated, honestly, because it had been a long year. Um, I was definitely happier this time than the first time around. I felt like the first time we kind of just walked in the door without really, I guess, it didn't feel like we had like worked through to overcome like our issues and our struggles, both as a team and independently, I feel like we kind of just walked in the door and and walked away with it, you know. But this time, it was definitely um, was much a lot harder work, and so in turn, that was just more rewarding. So when I when that winning moment, it really reminded me of how much like we worked and how rewarding it felt to win, knowing that.